guys, today I have a quick video for you. I do just wanna preface this with a little note about my tongue. I bit it the other day. It really is quite sore and I'm gonna sound a little bit strange because half of it is very bruised and swollen. This definitely falls into the category of accidents that could only happen to me. So, we're gonna talk about this heatless curl technique. I've used multiple different methods over the years and this is kind of an amalgamation of many. I'm sure you've probably seen this exact one before, um, but I wasn't copying a specific tutorial. I just kind of came to the conclusion one day, I think this would work and it did and I kept doing it and I kept saying I'm gonna show you, but I just wanted a little bit of time to make sure that 100% of the time it works and it does. And it gives you this kind of natural wave, which I love. This lasts for a few days for me as well. Um, so for those of you who have been asking how I've been doing this, I'm gonna show you. You're not gonna believe how easy it is. And I can't wait for you to try it yourselves. Right, so prep. This is gonna be completely dependent on your hair, how well it holds a curl. My hair's pretty good by itself. So it's just, just dried. I washed it this morning, it's not damp. If it's wet, it will not dry in this style because I do it so tight. So it needs to be dry, but I like it to be kind of like just, just, just. For some people, they like, you know, day old hair. That seems to work better for them or they wanna like put on a mousse or something. I don't use anything. I just kind of go in with freshly dried hair. And you need something to uh, clip it up with. You could use clips bobby pins, um, these are great. If I had two of these, I might use these instead. And I start right from the top and start twisting kind of the top section first. Then I start taking some from the back. This is not like, there's nothing really special about this whatsoever. I just start to take it from the back almost like you would with um, like a French braid. So I've kind of got it started here and that's when I start to incorporate the other half. This I twist around. So I actually find that the bottom curls can often be better than the top ones. So I'm gonna keep twisting and then I'm gonna take this and twist it around this as if this is a, like a, a curler, you know, like a bendy roller. I use my actual hair as the roller. And then I just twist it all together and into some kind of something I can deal with. So if I'm sleeping, I'll probably try to put these more on the side of my head, but this is during the day. I'm gonna leave these in. I'm just gonna clip my in. Might need two, it's not feeling very secure. Okay, there we go. Um, if you wanted to make, I mean, you could make this cute. You could make, you could do this like space buns or like little low ones, whatever you want to make this into an actual hairstyle that you want to live with while you're heatless curling your hair. Uh, but I'm not, I'm just kind of around the house. So this is going to be it. The clip I use is actually one of these for pin curls. You could also use like a longer one. Uh, but like I say, I think this would be pretty effective as well if I had two of them. Also, I keep meaning to buy, um, I used to have these little twists um, they were just literally twists and I would do my hair and twist it into my hair and it works the same way as um, like when you put a pencil through your hair, it's that kind of thing. And they would be really effective too and an invisible fasten. So again, if you were trying to do something where you actually wanted to go out and this was gonna be a hairstyle while you were curling your hair, that would work. <laughs> them like this but ideally if you do this in the day it's dead comfortable so this is 11 o'clock now I'm gonna leave until the evening and then I'm just gonna show you what it looks like you can sleep with them like this it's not the most comfortable but I will come back later today and let you know what it looks like okay so that was 11 o'clock it's just about to turn six so I'm thinking you know around a night's sleep do we sleep seven hours I probably don't sleep seven hours but in theory uh, so I'm gonna take them out I'm a little bit nervous because it's relatively high pressure Hey, hey, we're in the right direction. So this is how I like to separate it out. I have to admit, my hair feels a tiny bit damp. Didn't feel damp earlier. Maybe it's because it's been raining. There's just water in the air. So what looks like 
like all different colors. Okay, so it looks a bit raggedy. But do you see? Do you see? It's curls. I really don't want to cut away because I don't want you to think that I've like randomly used a hair tongue. But that's legit. And that was like seven hours just twisted up. And even the front piece is nice enough. I'm going to take the other piece down. I'm going to scrunch it a little bit, use some oil. If there are parts that look kind of clumpy, I find you can kind of separate them quite easily. That's the, the key. Now you can brush this out, it's nice and wavy, but I want it as curls. So I'm gonna just put in a little bit of oil. This is oil I've had for a million years. Got to be twisted. I literally have no special preference when it comes to like serums and oils, just a little bit so that it's not quite so frizzy. I mean, really, what do you think? I love it. This is my favorite way to do heatless curls um, of all of the many, many ways that I've tried. And um, the easiest and the getting there process is a wearable hairstyle if you need it to be. It's not that uncomfortable if you have to sleep with it. You don't need a special gadget. You don't need to walk around your house with a bathrobe tied into your hair. Your hair twists itself. Now, obviously, my hair is relatively long. Maybe if you've got shorter hair, you would need something else to help. Um, I have considered using uh, like a really thick foam bendy roller, you know, just for this part to give it a bit more lift. And sometimes I'll curl these sections just to make them look a little bit more intentional and polished. But honestly, I'm happy with it like this. This is kind of that like grungy, natural, curly look that I really, really like. Hopefully that was useful for those of you who were waiting for me to finally tell you how I was doing this. I didn't really want to share it until I felt confident that this was super easy, works every single time. And even as I was taking it out, I was like, eh, but it worked because it always works. If you have any twists on this or any particular ways that you do something similar, but not quite, please let us know in the comments. And if you try this, obviously tag me on Instagram so I can repost it because it's just so easy. It's so easy. I'll be interested to see how it works on shorter hair, but I can't see it making a massive, massive difference because my hair is curled from up here. And it's all about that like taking the twist in the same way that you would a French braid because then the curl starts higher, you know? I think, I think it would work for all hair. So please try it and let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.